Welcome back, true believers, and all you merry Marvelites, to another very interesting Marvel's Avengers related video because surely we need some news ASAP on this game if the hype wants to be kept alive for people to be interested as to what the game is going to entail. Given the fact that it comes out in less than six months, almost now close to five months. Now that we're getting closer to December 15th, that would make it exactly five months until the game comes out. And yet, we still don't have rarely any information about the majority of the aspects that the game will feature relating to the co-op, Warzone missions, hero missions, the hub worlds, cosmetics, heroes, and regions for free at a regular basis. We have dates as to when we're actually going to expect info about some of these things like the co-op. We are going to get that in early 2020, a deep dive showcase as to how that works. But the majority of the other features that the game entails, we know about it, but we just need to see them in action and learn more about how it's actually going to operate in this type of AAA action adventure, but also games as a service live service title it's a lot of things at once which is why i'm still very hesitant towards what the final result of this game is going to be and i just hope that everyone at square marvel crystal and eidos can fully deliver on this project by the time it does release and given that there's also going to be a beta for us to get our hands on you know they have to get it closer to be finished sooner than the date of may if they're actually going to release the beta online for the public to download and try the game out for themselves so there's a lot going on and there's not a lot of time for them to actually start promoting the game in the in the span of like five months it sounds like a lot but really they have only a short amount of time to fully promote the entirety of all the features that the game will hold in about five months after december is over once january is kicking in in 2020 then hopefully we can get a, ma a massive amount of coverage from square and most likely a game informer month of coverage to go over all the features that it will feature but right now it still is very unclear as to what some of these aspects will entail luckily Hopefully, we don't have to wait too soon until we do get some information about that this year, and specifically this week, in about two days from now. Because if you are unaware, today on December 3rd, at the time of this recording, is PlayStation's 25th anniversary. That's great. Been around for 25 years. Awesome. Amazing experiences like Uncharted, Infamous, Spider-Man, of course, Last of Us, all these incredible titles have been made from PlayStation ever since the birth of the PS1 back in December 3rd, 1994, and now we're here in 2019 with a huge array of games have, that have come out for this generation and are coming out in the future for the next generation, which is awesome. So, Game Informer is actually doing a coverage of the history of PlayStation from the PS1 to the PS2, PS3, and now the PS4 going into the PS5, which is very exciting. And they did actually post the entire cover story for the entirety of their PlayStation feature online. So I will leave a link to that in the description below. But what I find even more interesting is that they did actually slightly analyze what else will be featured in this month's issue of Game Informer? Because it's not just going to be PlayStation stuff, it's also going to be other games that we can expect in the future. Mainly, luckily, surprisingly, Marvel's Avengers. Because we did get that IGN UK super secret Virgin Media event, and it was just a day. So a lot of people, myself included, kind of been like, you know what, I'm kind of done with this whole a day thing. I really don't want to see the whole same tutorial level over and over again and have you guys act like it's something new because it's really not. So when is the next big new thing going to be released for the game that will hopefully get me intrigued? Even the overview video didn't really excite me because it's just recapping stuff we already know. So what's next? What's truly next for the game? And luckily, it comes from Game Informer. So what they did state on their article, talking about their PlayStation issue of their magazine for this month in December, rounding out the year with their magazine coverages, and it's going to be awesome talking about PlayStation. But mainly, they said this about their overall magazine and what we can expect inside the magazine itself. So it does state, the cover story takes up a big chunk of the issue, but it's far from the only thing that's in there. We've got a ton of great features, including a conversation with the showrunner of the upcoming Netflix adaptation of The Witcher, which I do think actually looks very cool, a look into the future of Xbox, so not only just PlayStation, but also Xbox, and an extensive new preview of Crystal Dynamics' new Avengers game. We also have post-mortem features on Call of Duty Modern Warfare and The Outer Worlds, in addition to a roundup of some great board games that you can play with your family this holiday season. 
So, there you have it, right there. It's not, I, from what I'm reading from this, I don't believe it's going to be, for example, like Spider-Man PS4's whole month of coverage that we did receive in April of last year in 2018, which was amazing. I do think that amount of stuff is going to come out next year, most likely in probably February or March. I'd be in shock if it was January, like the beginning of the year, you start off showcasing Marvel's Avengers. That would be great. Um, but from what I'm seeing here, I do think it's just going to be an article of information, just going over some stuff, maybe some new elements of the game that we haven't really seen in full force yet that they are actually going to finally analyze and discuss instead of being super secret and tight-lipped about it. Hopefully with this new amount of information that we'll get with this new extensive preview, I do think that there is hopefully something interesting and exciting to look forward to in the coming days. And you might be saying, when does it exactly come out, Evan? Because we do know that the Game Awards are coming relatively soon. Uh, PlayStation's going to have this big showcase in the Game Informer magazine. So when can they show this? And luckily, they do state it at the very end of this whole article. Print subscribers can expect their issues to begin arriving in the coming weeks. The digital edition of this issue launches Thursday for PC, Mac, iOS, and Google Play. You can also get the latest issue through third-party apps on Nook and Kindle later this week. To switch your print subscription to digital, click here, or to create a new subscription, click here. So again, if you want to get those links refreshed for yourself and you want to renew your subscription for Game Informer, I will leave a link to that in the description below. But basically, once the entire magazine is finished and ready to be uh, sent out physically, it'll be out in like the next few weeks. But if you want to read it in online on digital, it'll be on Thursday. So whatever this information is will hopefully be released on Thursday for the game. And I really think if they want to have this game actually be marketed properly to the public, the Marvel's Avengers Twitter page should be retweeting this or discussing about this. But instead, they're remaining radio silent for whatever reason. I don't know if that's because they have a lack of confidence in their game or because they're waiting for the next big info drop to come out next year or hopefully what i'm hoping for is that we get some kind of an exciting trailer revealed for the game during the game awards on december 12th which is in less than 10 days so that's pretty darn interesting and i do hope that whatever they show here is well worth my time and well worth your time and just well worth the read because if it's not going to be like a full-on deep dive demo showcase i don't think it's going to be that i just think it's going to be an article analyzing some new info possibly some small clips of pieces of footage relating to some combat moves or getting gear pieces or the menus kamala khan all that story details maybe we don't know but whatever this new extensive preview is i do find it very interesting that they are putting it within the 25th anniversary of the playstation uh, event in this magazine for game informer so what i'm hoping for is the playstation benefits what are they? Is it Spider-Man? Is it some exclusive skins that you can't get anywhere else? We don't know, but the fact that the PS4 owners get the beta earlier compared to any other console and also get more benefits compared to other players as well, I would personally like to finally find out what they are and if the Game Informer new extensive preview actually showcases that in honor of the PlayStation 25th year anniversary to coincide with the magazine's cover story, I think that would be a very smart move actually on Square Enix's marketing and I do think that would actually excite people to know, oh, what does the PlayStation owners get that the Xbox people may not, or PC owners may not, or even Google Stadia owners may not? Is the PS4 the best system to play this game on, or should I just wait and get on PC and play it somewhere else? We don't know. So if they actually analyze some stuff like that within this extensive preview, I would like to find out for myself, and hopefully that can hold us off until we do get the next major amount of news, either at the Game Awards, again with a possible trailer, or next year, early 2020, with a co-op deep dive showcase. But, I don't know, guys. There's just a lot on this game right now. I mean, today, for me personally, the sequel teases for Spider-Man PS4, even though it's saying to come out 2021, not 2020, have, have excited me more now compared to what we currently know about Marvel's Avengers. And that's crazy. So, they gotta step up their game really, really soon. And hopefully, due to how wonderful Game Informer is, I mean, you guys saw during their amazing coverage of Spider-Man PS4 back in April of 2018, they go full-on in-depth with every aspect of the game and also make it fun to build up excitement while waiting for it. And if they do that again, either in their full month of coverage, hopefully next year, or with whatever this extensive preview is, I'm all for it. 
I want to be excited for this game. I'm going to buy it day one, like I've said previously. It's just that the marketing hasn't been doing a good job of convincing me why I should be excited or why this is going to be a fantastic game. It just kind of looks average for me right now, and I'm a little bit skeptical towards some of the statements and some of the game elements that we currently see in it so far. So if this coverage can turn the tides and kind of switch my perspective and viewpoint and kind of get me more excited, then I will be ecstatic. I'll be totally happy to see what comes next and just counting the, down the days until it releases in May 15th, 2020. But with all that said, everyone, that was my short little PSA video for you guys today. I will talk about this news, whatever it is, on Thursday when they fully release it, but just keep your eyes peeled in the coming days for some news relating to Marvel's Avengers from Game Informer. What do you guys think it could be? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you want it to be, and what are you hoping that it's not? Because if it is A-Day again, uh, we're gonna have some problems. But until that time comes, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Stay spectacular, Spidey fans, and stay merry, Marvelites. Peace out.